now that we just check how to work with the clump scale it's going to be time to work with the copy effect the copy effect sets the blending of the clumping effect between the neighbor clumps so if you change the value to let's say one and let's affect here and let's put the value of one, two you can see here how the blendings get affected between the clumps it's minor the effect let's put a value of 50 and you can see how it's the blending the one that gets affected and how to blend between the clumps the scale obviously is going to be the amount to scale and the variance it's going to be uh, I'm going to read from the Maya help lets you override the copy of a per on a per primitive basis negative copy variance values decrease the effect while positive values increase it so if i put a value of minus 50 here you can see the the blending effect goes all over the place let's change to for you to see it over here and if i put a value of 50 it's going to increment the variance so something like that so 20 it's going to be similar let's put a value of 10 over here oh i was doing the copy effect clump variance it's not the one that i want to affect it's the over here yeah, that's much better. So you can see here how the effect it's applying and positive values, it's going to do the exact uh, positive. So a minus value, it's going to change the blending and a positive value is going to move further away the blend. So that's how the blending works over here. You can see here this is the base or the tip of the blend let's put it lower you can see them there how it's affecting it's so it's too big let's put a better uh, gradient over here so the effect it's more visible and easier for you to check and with a negative value you're going to have the opposite effect now let's put this thing to zero we have the cut effect the cut is just as the word says it's going to cut the amount of hair on each clump so you can see here how the hair is going to move closer sorry zero 50 it's too much 20 okay it's better it's going to move and it's going to be cut it out of the effect again you can create a clumping uh, a mask sorry for this to be positive or to have a value here that works around the full value that we have here even you can create a randomizer again rand uh, I don't know 0 0.0 or 0 to uh, 20 so it's going to take a random value between 0 and 20 to exist you can see here the the random the noise that I'm creating and how does the noise affect and it's taking a random value to cut from each of the clumps you can see here that now this clump is shorter and this clump is larger and the same it's happening here I have a short clump and a longer clump longer clump there and I can even put a higher value maybe 40 and this one is taking a really really low value and it's getting no cut at all so maybe 30 and that's better so you can see here how the cut value it's affecting the length of the clumps by the clump itself not by the strands not by the guide well it's by the guide if you have guide clumping but you can vary the size of each clump with a uh, maps or with descriptions so this will be all for this part and we are going to start working on the noise effect next that it's extremely extremely powerful and that's one of the secrets to get realism and a nice behavior with xm so we'll see you on the next one